What's going on, YouTube family? The man, the myth, the Z X Predator, Alex X is coming at you with another video, and uh, got some channel updates um, using some stock footage from a uh, recent, a recent ride. But my buddy Sean had a good time on this ride, you know. But um, stay tuned. Um, got some things, that, uh, some announcements, and uh, uh, plans that are going to be deployed in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and let's get this video started. The revolution will be live. live. What's going on? Let's like I already got through the intro. Just wanted to jump right in. Um, just letting y'all know a little something. This YouTube thing is not easy. It's a lot of labor, a lot of time. So I had to, you know, take a break and uh, kind of recharge my battery. Um, you know, it's a lot. Like I said, labor. There's planning. There's recording. There's editing. There's networking. There's just a lot that go, kind of goes into, you know, trying to put out uh, some, some, some content, you know, if, you know, we ever roll back the curtain and show what some of us YouTubers have to, to really shoulder, it, it's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work, you know, that's just, if you, you know, you get in, you, you get out of it what you put into it, so, um, again, I just had to let y'all know I had to like take like a little mental and a spiritual break on this one. Oh, I also want to take this time to give a big shout out to Mikey B, aka soon to be proprietor of MB Productions. Uh, if you go on my Instagram, he did a killer drone video. Um, one one night. I was battling my sciatica, and uh, he's like, hey, Alex, I said, go out and, you know, go droning. And uh, we had tried to coordinate that for a while. But, um, you know, with that being said, uh, yeah, we worked some things out, and, yeah, it's some cool stuff. I probably have to chop it up um, because YouTube and the algorithm and the, the, the music, it's just nonsense. So, Mike, big shout out, brother. Thank you. Alright, so now getting back to um, a follow-up. Now, most of you know I went to Extreme Machines uh, last week and I lost my GoPro Hero 7 Black, the one that I purchased from my cousin Garvin. That hurts my heart. That hurts my heart even now, but I'm in the process of, uh, you know, reacquiring. Now, to some degree, I did succeed, but where I was looking for my one camera I ended up with a treasure chest of other things you're gonna see that in another video um, in, in another ride along which is uh, yeah I made out with a steel you know which is actually gonna upgrade some angles that I can record some of these videos and what have you there's gonna be some cool things on the pipeline so um, yeah it, it, it's uh, it's tough too because GoPro is not doing the trading program like they used to, so um, you know I'm kind of left to my vices to uh, get the top of the line stuff. And that Hero Seven, you know, now the Hero Eight, Nine, and Ten, they have the um, Media Mod, which will allow for the um, three millimeter, uh, three point five millimeter jack, so I can. You know, moto vlog again in real time instead of doing post, like I did with my uh, Hero 3. But for whatever reason, GoPro designed it that way. Um, I'm just at the slave and mercy of uh, you know the equipment that I have on hand. But definitely gonna be making some things happen. Definitely upgrades coming down the pipeline. All right, so I do want to apologize to uh, a few event organizers that I was like I said I was going to appear uh, at you know a couple of events but I simply could not make it it was just uh, 
how can I say, I think I double booked and then I had family stuff and then military obligations, it was just kind of rough. So uh, I'm gonna try to do better with that where, you know, it was just to appear, you know, nothing like major obligation, but I did say I would, you know, come and uh, it just kind of got jacked up, but I'm working on this and um, got some things in the pipeline, which will lead me to my next announcement. Um, I'm going to start setting small meetups locally. I just want to get a feeler for, for something. And uh, Sean and I on this ride, I was actually, whether he knew it or not, I was just reconning some things. Because, uh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to say I'm a born leader, but I like to organize. Uh, I, and, and I like to, to initiate things. So, um, yeah, I want to start doing some meetups that's specifically going to be, you know, YouTube content focus. And then, uh, you know, depending on how that, that, that feeler is for a specific type of content that, you know, I recently started putting on a channel that has been generating views that, uh, you know, safely, you know, gradually increase that number. And then, you know, once I'm comfortable getting like a nice little establishment here, the next level is and I'll be, you know, starting to travel and getting out and about because, you know, I've been giving that feedback like, hey, Alex, you need to travel. Like, Moto Mike was telling me, you know, you should go out and about. And, you know, I, I'll do what my uh, budget allows me to and what my job will allow me to. Unfortunately, sometimes I'm reluctant to take time off from work because oftentimes uh, I have military obligations and then it's like, okay, I'm gone for a month, two months. And then requesting time off for, for you know, my hobby, my leisure, it, 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 it's kind of tough. Like, I've been running into that for a little while. But definitely something I am seeking to do this year. And now with the season um, seemingly in full swing, um, I will be getting back to my twisties rides. Definitely getting to the track. Um... I've never been to NYST and that's one thing I got to work with because the, that distance, the, I, that definitely you got to coordinate and then that's something where, you know, I want to go the night before, possibly get like a room or whatnot and just do it right, you know, that that's all it is. I just want to do it right for my comfort and, you know, if I solo it, it might be a little easier, you know, but uh, I know when I go... You know, in NJMP or Poconos, I can just get a U-Haul, get like a box truck, stick the 14 in there. If my brother-in-law can get off uh, some time off from work, I'm going to get him to be going with me to the track as well. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely going to start seeing some twisty stuff. And I'm pretty sure my buddy Steve is going to start uh, initiating the gangster A-class uh, twisty rides. Because those are not for the faint of heart. You know, Eben uh, knows all about these rides. Doug, you know, Mike, Danny, a lot of my the people that I frequently ride with, like, can, can definitely tell you. Um, yeah, I got to figure out how I'm going to record those rides. Because sometimes they can get kind of mute. And you're just seeing, you know, trying to get through traffic and stuff. So I'm going to start doing some shorter videos with highlights to do some cool things. So I'm going to take a brief intermission. You're going to hear me and Sean actually having a funny conversation. I couldn't put all the video up, but enjoy. Alrighty, 
okay so um i did also I was checking my notes there's something that i will just flat out admit with the exception of my predator hunter helmet um i know that it's actually hindering me with uh, my performance so there's again in a future video i was going up to pick up some equipment uh that I had uh referenced pertaining to um trying to replace my gopro and you know uh, since i wasn't motor vlogging that um i think i did catch some pieces i think when i did the transaction but um using my showy x14 that helmet is fantastic wow like first you know i don't use it often it's it's like okay now it's it's for a purpose if i'm going you know for track you see me use it at the track um my agv i kind of retired it i'll use it for like a guest helmet for my sister or whomever i get rides to and and that x14 oh my god i love it I love it I love it I love it like I was literally getting you know body position practice making sure fully tucked getting my chin down on the tank and stuff like that and just the aerodynamics of that helmet was fantastic oh my gosh that you know it's now uh, I'm, I'm saying to myself I tell folks if anything if you see me with my Predator helmet, it's for novelty. It's just for fun. You know, I, I, I just like the whole, you know, caricature or the, you know, it's like being a WWE superstar. You're in your persona. But if I crack out that X14, just know I'm, I'm, I'm in a different mode in the zone. Just ready to go. No drag, no issues, no, no nothing. That, oh my gosh, I, you're gonna see it in a f future video. We, me and my buddy uh, Dirty Jersey, we're uh, having some fun. And look at this, somebody come look at this. Yeah, we were coming up on the end of the ride and it looked like State Trooper pinched somebody over there. But uh, yeah, oh my gosh, like I've only used my X14 at the track and, and rarely on the street. So, oh my goodness, I, it's just. Words can't even express how good that helmet is. But, um, you know, my buddies are just like, hey, I like you, you know, you gotta use your regular helmet. Like, and, and it's funny, folks won't even recognize it's me unless they look at the bike or whatever. They're like, oh, shoot, because they associate, you know, my persona with, you know, oh, that's Alex. But, you know, I just blend in and look like anybody else with it. So, that's a funny story. Y'all definitely gonna enjoy that one. And going back to um, what I referenced with, with uh, Mikey B, um, picking up the, a hobby that I want to inject into the channel's content. Uh, this is in an effort to stay fresh and try to constantly evolve. So um, I'm going to see, I can't talk too much about it yet without spoiling future videos, you know, because I've had a bad habit of doing things out of sequence. I want to kind of do like next time on the ZF Predator channel, <laughs> you know, like I kind of want if you're watching the history to kind of be like, oh, OK, I see where we are. I may have to start doing numbered episodes or something like that. But um, I want to give a shout out to my discord, guys. If you actually want to come and talk about bikes, helmets and whatnot, I'll have a link to my discord below. You're all invited to, you know. It, 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 it's fun and you can talk to me like in real time I have discord on my phone probably probably the coolest app out there you know so um, yeah definitely join the conversation uh, I know I have a couple folks it's set up to do a podcast so you, you can do video you can do um, audio chat you know different kind of things and for those who know me on my gaming channel like I can do a lot of high-level production stuff even have a chat involved like super chatting and things like that so that's been in, in place for a long time it's just I haven't been using it yet so I do invite you guys to click on that discord link 
and, and give me a shout out. Introduce yourselves. I'm going to give a shout out to Snake and the rest of the crew having a good conversation in there. And, you know, feedback, like if you want me to add different servers and different things, I'm all ears. You know, I want this to be an organic and interactive uh, platform. Sadly, I don't have any footage of what Sean and I were discussing, but uh, yeah, these cars keep trying it. Don't do it unless you're like one of those super cars with a thousand horsepower or better. Um, Mikey B was talking about his buddies that, um, you know, have some really exotic cars that will give bikes a run for their money. Probably outright beat them. But uh, speaking of which, today somebody in a Tesla tried me. And uh, you know that that wasn't easy. That those Teslas are no joke, but just cars in general are closing the gap a little bit. But I'm uh, just gonna conclude this video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. That's one of our loops. I have a whole bunch of routes like that. Oh, for real? Yeah. I, I, that's loop A. Then we have the one we go all the way up to Hoboken. Then we got the one where we go down south. <laughs>